Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Go to github.com slash software nuggets. Look for the repository PostgreSQL short resources. Scroll down until you see merge command for PostgreSQL 17. There it is. Let us use the merge command. Now notice I'll be using PostgreSQL version 17. I'm first going to drop all the tables I've already created and kind of start from scratch. And then you can see here I have our first table, main table. Now that's kind of like our production database table. You can see I have an order ID, my primary key, has shipped and ship date. Let's go ahead and create that. Now we're going to insert some sample data into that table. And then we have our transaction table. I'm calling it transaction orders. And you can see here I have the order ID, has shipped, and date shipped. So let's go ahead and create this table and let's go ahead and insert some sample data. Now in our transaction order table, our goal is to update the main table here. So let me show you the rows that we have in main and our order transaction orders, two updates, and then one insert. Now we're down to the actual merge command. Merge into main table and I'm going to alias that as M. And then using transaction orders as T. Then I'm going to join those two tables. Now when order ID equals order ID, that is matched. And then we do the update command. Now when that is not matched, I'm going to do an insert command. And you can see here that 8 does not exist here. So remember when I did the order ID equals the transaction order ID that did not match, so I will do the insert command. Let's go ahead and execute this command. I would like to point out one thing before I continue. Notice when we did an alias M here, sometimes we come down and we say M dot, you know, put the alias in front of that, but that is an error in this statement. You do not use an alias. You might want to try that, see the error that it creates, so you know what happens. Now we'll show you what happened after that was executed. As you can see here, rows 1 and 3 have been updated and row 8 has been inserted. Let us look at one more example. We will look at the delete event. Using the same steps, I'm going to create the first table, main table. I'm going to insert 7 rows and then I'm going to do our transaction order table and it has the same 3 insert statements. Let us add the clause when not matched by source, then delete. So you can see here I'm doing 1, 3, and 8. You can see 1, 3, but no 8. But the rows 2, 4, 5, and 6, and 7, they don't have any changes down here in our transaction table. So this command will delete them. I'm going to be honest with you. I never use this command. This is so dangerous. Proceed with caution. Then let's perform the merge command. Execute. Okay, here we go. Here's the main table. Just three rows. So delete was really used there. It removed all of the rows that did not have a transaction. And there you have the new merge function in PostgreSQL version 17. Would appreciate if you leave a comment and if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you back in my next video. Take care.